So you saw my email with a little video wall. It was a pretty cool email, but it really wasn't that hard to create. So I want to show you step by step how you can create something like this very, very easily. The way to start is click the email greeting icon. We'll bring you right into the email greeting gallery. And here you can see some of the custom designs I've created in the past. Click the big red create a new design button. And this is the canvas space or the splash area where you'll be designing it. And if I turn the dimmer off, you can see what my email will actually look like. But I'm gonna just work in this white space here. My tabs, image, text, graphics, border, and background. These are your options. I'm gonna start with image and I'm gonna choose an image right off my desktop. Now this is just my logo. You guys all have your logos files. So you can just start with adding your logo. It'll pop up and you can size it, position it. If you hold down the shift button while you're using these positioning tools, it'll move faster. I'm just gonna tweak the size a little bit, tweak the positioning, and there we go. So we positioned our logo to the left bottom. Let's choose a background. I've got this, these backgrounds just like you do in your account, and I'm gonna choose this video wall design. You can see here now my logo needs to come down just a little bit. Bump that down a little bit there. Now that looks pretty good. It's just like our original design. So here we need to add some text, some text and graphics. And uh, here's what the original looks like. And I'm gonna grab some text here now. Just click on the text tab. And I need to click inside this white text area. Just start typing. If you wanna put something on two lines, you can just click to the next line if you like. I'm gonna choose a font. You'll be seeing your fonts, I'm seeing my fonts. Our fonts will be different because we have different fonts loaded on our computers. So there's my design. Start creating your own amazing custom design. I'm gonna position it up and just change the size there. There's, bump it down a little. And I'm going to uh, change it to a little bit lighter font. It's a little too bold. That looks about right. Bump it around. And I'm gonna position it down a hair. And now we need to add our second block of text. So let's click on the block neck number two. You can add up to three different text blocks. I'm just going to type in here with our second text block. See how I made this one? And I'm going to choose an orangish, yellowish color. Maybe over here in the oranger hues. It's a little too yellow. That looks pretty good. So I need to style it a little bit here. Let's choose the same font we used above. It was uh, my Futura. Once again, you're going to have different fonts than I do. Your fonts are going to be on your computer. Let's bump it up a little bit further down, and now I just need to kind of position it a little bit lower into the black area. There we go. I need to leave room for my little arrow graphic over on the right-hand side. Right goes there, and I'll click on the graphics tab. Here's the little arrow graphic. So we've used the image graphic, the text graphic, and now the, I'm sorry, the image tab, the text tab, and the graphics tab. And once I style and color and size this little arrow here, I can move this around so you've seen, I've added my logo as an image. I used a background, this video wall background. I added some text, and now I'm adding a graphic using all of the different options inside the customizer here in Ace of Sales. And we have a design that looks very, very similar to the original one I created. So this is how very simply you can do it too. Click done, name your custom design, click save, and it's right there inside your custom design or your custom designs area. And you can click the select button to actually create an email greeting right now with your new design. Now it's your turn to create a custom design for your customers.